Let's use the planet scale GitHub actions to create a new branch in our database. Hey everyone, my name is Brian Morrison and I'm on the developer education team here at planet scale. Today, we're going to take a look at how you can use GitHub actions in order to create a new database branch for your planet scale database, along with a password that matches the name of the branch inside of GitHub. This can be really useful in environments where you need to spin up a new branch in GitHub and you want it to automatically have a database branch ready for you to go and start coding against. Before you follow along with this tutorial, make sure that you have a free planet scale account. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can sign up if you're interested and have a GitHub account. So this way you can actually create some GitHub actions. All right, let's get started. Okay, so before we can start configuring our GitHub actions workflow in order to create this branch and password, the first thing we need to do is set up a service token, which is going to be used for authentication from GitHub into PlanetScale to perform these operations on our behalf. To create a service token from the PlanetScale dashboard, as soon as you log in, click on settings, go to service tokens on the left hand side, and then here's a list of the service tokens that are already configured for this organization. I'm going to click on new service token and let's name it actions hyphen token and click create service token. This is going to present us with the service token ID and the token itself. While the ID can be retrieved after the fact, the value in the token field won't be shown after this. So make sure you copy these off to reference later. Once I have these values copied, I'm going to click continue to token permissions. And now since tokens are configured granularly for access to the organization, as well as each individual database, I'm going to go down and I'm going to click on the add a database button. And in this organization, we only have one database, the bookings DB, which is the database we are going to be working with in this demonstration. Now, typically you would want to only select the individual permissions you want to access this database. I'm going to select the entire branch node since this is the option that will give me access to create passwords for these branches inside of this database. Database. With that selected, I'm going to scroll to the bottom and click Save Permissions. And from here, we can move over to GitHub so we can configure our GitHub Actions workflow. Okay, so I'm logged into GitHub and I'm using this Bookings API repository. Um, it's an API that's written in Go. However, the contents of the repository aren't necessarily critical to what we're going to be accomplishing today. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a new action that's just going to create a database branch in PlanetScale for us. Before we do that, however, we're going to need to configure a pair of GitHub action secrets, which are going to hold the contents of our service token ID and our service token itself. We can do this on the settings tab underneath secrets and variables, and then in the actions option. So as you can see, I currently have no secrets to find. So let's click new repository secret. And the name of the secret is going to be planet scale underscore service underscore token underscore ID. And I'm going to paste the contents of the service token ID in the secrets box here and click add secret. And then we'll do the same thing for planet scale service token. Now with the two secrets added, we can go to the actions tab to start setting up our actions workflow. Now you can see that GitHub has automatically detected that I'm working on a Go project and it's recommending a couple of sample workflows that we can use to get started, but it, we're instead going to click set up a workflow yourself to get a blank slate to start with. Once I click that, GitHub will automatically start to create a new file for us under .github slash workflows slash main.yaml. And this YAML file is going to contain all the necessary information for GitHub to execute our workflow. So let's start by giving the workflow a name and I'll name it create a database branch. And then we're going to set the trigger to create, which means anytime a new branch is created, this action is going to run. Now let's set up our environment variables that can be used across all of our jobs and steps. We'll type in ENV, and then we're going to set the first one to planet scale service token ID. And then the format we can use for our secrets is a dollar sign with a double open curly bracket secrets dot planet scale service token ID like that. And this refers directly into the GitHub action secrets we defined earlier. So let's create the same thing for the planet scale service token. Like so, and now we can move on to defining our jobs. So this workflow is going to contain one job, we're going to name the job create underscore a underscore branch. It's going to use the latest version of Ubuntu. So I'm going to type runs on and then Ubuntu hyphen latest. And then finally, we can define our steps. Now, while we will be defining our steps manually, it's worth calling out that on the right hand side of this view under marketplace, you can actually search for planet scale here. 
and several actions will be here. Now, there are a few actions that have been created by third parties, but if you scroll down just a bit, you can see there are several here that are by planet scale. These are the official planet scale GitHub actions. And at the time of the recording of this video, we have four. We have create database password, create deploy request, deploy a deploy request, and create database branch. If I select, say, for instance, create database branch, you can see we have a link back to the full marketplace listing, which will also contain a link to the source code repository, which is available within our GitHub organization, as well as down under this installation section here. It shows the proper syntax to use this specific action within your steps, along with any necessary arguments that are required for the action to run properly. You can copy and paste this in to your workflow. However, we're going to type everything out manually here. So I'm going to delete the existing content that I just pasted here. And our first step is going to be named create database branch. Under uses, we're going to type in planet scale forward slash create branch action. And we're going to type in v1, which links back to the tagged version of this action. And finally, we can define our arguments with width. Our org name is going to be ps deved which is the organization that I'm using for this demonstration. If you're following along, you want to use whatever the name of your organization is. The database name, in my case, is going to be bookings-db. And then the branch name, which is the name of the new branch we're going to create, it, we'll just name this my new branch. And then commit our changes to save this file back into the repository. Now that the file has been saved, let's head back to the code tab, click on branch, and then I'm going to create a new branch here. And I'm just going to name this GitHub branch and click create branch. Now that the branch has been created, we can head to the actions tab and we can see there is an execution that's already begun for create a database branch. And this is the actions workflow that we had just defined previously. I can click on this and navigate directly into the job itself, and we can watch the job execute and see how it follows along. Okay, looks like the workflow completed in 16 seconds. I'm going to drop down this create database branch here, and you can actually see the output from the planet scale CLI, which is wrapped inside of the action, create the new branch. You can see branch, my new branch was successfully created, and that's the name of the branch name we defined inside of the action itself. And then there's also a link to view the branch in the browser. Let's head over to the planet scale dashboard just to verify that this new branch was actually created. I'm back in the planet scale dashboard at the overview tab of the bookings DB, and I'm going to select branches from the top. And you can see my new branch now exists underneath main, and it was created just now. This was the branch that was created automatically using GitHub Actions. Now that we've tested and verified that this workflow does indeed work and create branches, let's head back over to GitHub Actions, and we're going to extend our workflow just a bit to create a new branch based off of the name of the GitHub branch, as well as create a password for us automatically and list those properties within the output of the action. Before I do that, I'm going to click Delete, just so this way I can keep this view clean here. And now let's jump back to GitHub. Back over in GitHub, I'm going to select the GitHub slash workflows folder here and select the main file and click this little edit icon, which will give me that same editor that we were using previously. Now, before we can create a database branch based off of the GitHub branch, we need to first use a little bit of bash scripting in order to extract the name of the branch from the environment variables that are passed into these, this workflow by GitHub automatically. So I'm going to define a new step here, and I'm going to name that extract branch name. The shell type we're going to run is going to be bash, and then the command is going to be echo branch equals, and then we're going to use a dollar sign and open parens. Echo one more time. GitHub underscore ref pound sign refs forward slash heads forward slash and then I'm going to close these off so we're going to close the curly bracket the parens and the quote and finally we're going to pipe all of this to github underscore output and what this is going to do is essentially add an output from this step into a variable named branch that we can use in our future steps I'm also going to give the ID of this specific step extract underscore branch and this is how we're going to refer to these, these outputs. Now, if I update the 
create database branch step, I'm going to remove the hard coded name that we have here for the branch name. And I'm instead going to use the same syntax that we use for the environment variables. So I'll do dollar sign with a double open curly brackets. And instead of secrets, we need to refer to the outputs from the step above. So we can do this with steps dot extract underscore branch, which is the ID of that step dot outputs dot branch. Close our curly brackets off, and this should create a new branch for us that has the same name as the branch inside of GitHub. Let's go ahead and add the logic here to create a new password for our branch as well. So I'm going to create a new step here named create branch password. Under uses, instead of using the create branch action, we're going to use planet scale forward slash create branch password action. That's going to be use the V1 tag as well. We're going to set the ID to create underscore branch underscore password. And the create branch password action will automatically pipe the username, password, and host name into its output. So we won't have to echo those outputs into the GitHub output. It's going to do that automatically. However, we still need to give this step an ID so we can refer to them later on. Now let's pass in arguments for our width. We'll say org name is going to be ps hyphen dev ed. Our database name is going to be bookings hyphen db. The branch name is actually going to be the same as we have defined above for branch name under the create branch action. So let's use steps dot extract underscore branch dot outputs dot branch. And then for the name of the password, which is what the name argument uses, we're going to do pass hyphen and then use exactly the same thing as we did above for the branch name. Extract branch, outputs, and then branch. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a branch named dev in GitHub, and this should automatically create a new database branch named dev along with a password for that branch that is named pass hyphen dev. And then finally, let's create one last step that's going to echo out the contents we need from the create branch password action, which is going to be the host name, the username, and the password that was created. So I'm going to name this get the new credentials. And this is going to use a multi line script. So I'm going to type in run followed by a pipe, and then I can add new lines down here. And then we'll say echo host name is going to be equal to steps dot create underscore branch underscore password dot outputs dot host name. And then I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to copy and paste these this line down again, just so I don't have to retype that all out again. We'll put the username in the second line. And then we'll put the password in the third line. Okay, and this should conclude the process of creating the action itself. Let's commit these changes again. We're going to head back to the code tab, select branches again, and let's create a new branch named dev and click create branch. We'll head back to the actions tab, refresh the page, and we can see that create a database branch is once again running. Let's click inside of this and watch it complete. And then we can head back to the planet scale dashboard to make sure that everything was created exactly the way that we need it to be. Okay, so now the action's completed. Let's drop down the create database branch. You can see the branch dev was created successfully. I'm going to expand the step that says create branch password. There's no output here, which means that the password is created successfully. And if I clicked get the new credentials, we can see here are those values of the password, the host name, the username, and then the password. And you would use these within your connection strings for your application in order to connect to the PlanetScale database branch. Now, again, let's head back over to PlanetScale and let's make sure that everything was created exactly the way that we, we expected to within the dashboard. Okay, I'm back inside of Bookings DB in the Overview tab. Let's click on Branches. Here's our dev branch that we expected to be created. It was created just now. And then to find the password, I'm going to select Settings from the tabs up here. On the left-hand side, I will select Passwords. And you can see we have one password named pass-dev that was created one minute ago by my service token. 
I hope this video helped you better understand how you can use GitHub Actions with PlanetScale to automate processes like creating branches as well as passwords for those branches. If you're looking for some creative new ways to use GitHub Actions with PlanetScale, do me a favor, drop a comment below and we'll see what we could do to make that happen. For more information on how to use PlanetScale, visit planetscale.com and check out our blog and documentation portal where we're adding new content all the time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.